do you think is better? Do you like Lightroom Denoise or Topaz Labs? That's a good answer. I, I, I agree with you there. Hello everyone, Michael Shamlam here and welcome to another video. This time I'm really excited because we are going to be comparing my two favorite noise reduction tools and that is Lightroom Denoise versus Topaz Labs to see which one is best for landscape photography. So let's go ahead and dive in. I've got Lightroom Classic open here and I have this just Milky Way test shot that I captured at 6,400 ISO. I have a few effects applied. So here is the original, quite a bit of grain in here. And then with the effects applied, there is a ton of noise to deal with. Now, I also have a virtual copy here. If I click on this one, and this has some manual noise reduction applied because I thought it would be fun to compare the manual noise reduction to the denoise version to see just how drastic the differences are. Now we also have this image, which is a nice redwood shot. And if I go to the original, you can see it's very underexposed. So this is a situation where I'm bringing up the shadows and the blacks, and if we zoom in here, Definitely less noise than the Milky Way shot, but I felt like this would be a perfect contrast because of some of the details and colors in here. So we're gonna see how the programs handle both of these shots. Let's start out by taking this Milky Way shot and clicking on Denoise. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see that this tool is super simple. I mean, there's one slider and it pretty much goes zero to 100. So if we go to 100 here, you can see it really ends up blurring out a lot of the details here. I personally wouldn't go over 50%, but that's just me. And of course you can try out some different settings and see what works for you. I find that for Milky Way shots, 50 is pretty good. And then if we're working on uh, images with less noise, you know, maybe 30 to 40% is good. In this case, I'm gonna click on enhance. All right, so here is our enhanced shot. And it's looking really nice, really smooth in this area. In here, good color retention, good detail. Let's go ahead and compare the enhanced version with the original. Okay, so you can see just how drastic this difference is from the enhanced version on the left and the original on the right. Just so much noise. And let's now take a look at the enhanced versus the regular noise reduction. So this is like manual noise reduction that you would apply using sliders. Wow, just look at the difference here in the colors and the detail. It's pretty extreme. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and see what Topaz can do now. Okay, so here is Denoise AI, and you can see this is a much more complicated tool. So there are a lot of different models you can use here for different settings. You've got your model preferences to enhance the sharpness or remove more noise. And then you also have post-processing, which allows you to bring in the original file to retain some of that original detail. All right, so one thing I really like about this tool is you have this compare mode right here, and it shows a bunch of different models here. So we've got low light, raw, severe noise, and clear. I think right off the bat, clear looks the worst. It looks like it's just blurring out too many of the details. I think severe noise is also looking a little bit too blurry for me. Raw and low light look pretty good. Since we are working with a raw file, I think it would be good to stick with raw, but maybe we'll try low light as well. If I go ahead and click this little lightning bolt right here, it's going to auto detect the file to see what's gonna work best. In this case, it does want me to use the raw mode. Let's use the auto settings here. Interesting. So it wants us to do about 20% noise reduction and 35% enhance sharpness. I think it would be good to bring in more noise reduction than that. So I think I'm gonna to go to about 40 here. And then recover detail allows you to bring in that raw file detail. Let's bring in about 5%, just so we bring in a touch of grain. Because one thing I have noticed using Topaz Labs in the past is sometimes the denoise, it, it blurs out too much to where you have literally no texture 
in certain spots. So I'm gonna click Save Image here and make sure we're preserving that raw file. Let's go ahead and also try one with their auto settings. And I'm gonna take the Recover Original Detail down and we'll save this one as well. And just because we have the option, let's just try one more. We're gonna do low light this time. Um, so we'll go ahead and just use the auto settings for this. We'll bring in the Recover Original by about 10. Okay, let's bring these into Lightroom now. So here's the first denoise model. Let me compare that first with the original. Definitely some color differences here. I'm not sure what that's about. Also looks a little bit darker. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here. And you know, the Topaz version definitely looks a lot cleaner, of course, than the original. And here is a look at Topaz versus a little bit of Lightroom noise reduction. Definitely a lot better than the original noise reduction from Lightroom. You're getting more details in the colors. Although it does look like there's a little bit of kind of compression in here. Well, all right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and now throw the enhanced version into the mix. So you know that, that's a pretty big difference. The Lightroom version's really bringing out a lot more of the details. It's doing a smoother denoise, so you can see the denoise texture in here. And I gotta say, I think the color retention looks much better. I mean, look at all of the magenta tones in here that are still kept, some of the nice warm tones in the Milky Way. Um, you're getting less of that like green muddiness. I definitely think Lightroom's Enhance looks a lot better in this instance. So here's our second version where we brought in, I think a little bit more of the original and we had less noise reduction going. Um, and it definitely, you know, it looks like just that, less noise reduction, more grain. Um, it still looks good, it just still doesn't look quite as good as the, the Lightroom version. And even with less noise reduction, we still are not getting quite as good color retention here. Okay, so here is our final version out of Topaz Labs. This is the low light function. I actually don't think the low light function did a really good job here. It looks way too blurry in this section, and then you're seeing all these bits of compression. Looks like there's some like beveling to the stars here, so I don't really know what Topaz's algorithm was trying to do here, but I don't think it was very successful in this case. You know, I've been using Topaz Labs for a while and I really like their upscaling functions and their sharpen functions, and I've used the, the noise reduction time to time with, with a decent amount of success on some files, but I gotta say, this, this Lightroom denoise, I mean, this is a pretty, this is a more drastic difference than I thought it would be for sure. I thought they would be more neck and neck and I'd really have to like pixel peep to try and see the differences here. Now one limitation to Lightroom that you should know is that you can only apply denoise onto a raw file. So you basically apply it during the raw level and then you can edit your image afterwards. Now in Topaz Labs, you can actually apply the noise reduction after you totally edit a photograph, like it could be a TIFF file or a JPEG or pretty much anything like that. Now, I feel like it's probably a good idea to take this image that we have edited and see if we could denoise the edited TIFF version of the file too. So let's go ahead and bring this now into Topaz Denoise, and this time I'm bringing in that edited version. Okay, so that's a pretty big difference right there with low light, look at that. Let's do 20% remove noise. We can do 20% sharpness. And let's bring back 10 of the recover original detail. And let's click apply on this and see if this has a different effect on the photograph. We've got Lightroom Enhance on the left and we have the Topaz TIFF version on the right. Definitely more noise reduction applied on the Topaz photo, even though we went to a pretty low percentage. It looks good, it's just a little bit blurry in these sections here. I still think that Lightroom is retaining more of that detail, but I'd be curious to now see how this differs to the raw version. So now we have the raw denoise from Topaz on the left, we have the TIFF edited denoise on the right. I think I like the way 
the TIFF denoise looks more than the raw denoise, to be honest. Um, I think what I would need to do is bring back even more of the original photograph. I still think that Lightroom does a better job maintaining that detail, especially the colors here, and not over blurring things as well. So definitely the clear winner here for me is Lightroom, but I'm really curious to see how the programs handle the less severe noise. So we'll go ahead and test out the Redwood file. Okay, so here's with noise reduction off and sharpening off. We're going to go into denoise. Let's try 40% for this one. Okay, so here's our Redwood shot in denoise. If we select the auto setting, it wants us to do raw because we are using that raw file. So let's use the auto settings. It looks like 15% noise reduction, which is good. We definitely don't want it to be too high. Enhance sharpness 52. That seems a little bit high, to be honest. I might take the enhance sharpness down a bit. Let's put that at 36. Take down color noise reduction. Okay, so I'm gonna do two tests with this one. I'm gonna do recover original detail at zero, and then I'm gonna do recover original detail at 50, just to see what the differences are between these two files. Let's go ahead and save this. Original detail, 50%. Save the image. All right, so starting off with Lightroom, our enhanced version, using denoise. It's looking pretty good. Good color retention, detail. I don't see any noise. There's the original. Definitely a lot more grain in the file, but it looks like Lightroom did a great job keeping the original colors and the tones and the shapes. Let's go ahead and compare now the enhanced to denoise. The difference is a lot more extreme than I thought it would be. I mean, it completely blurred out some of these sections in here. I mean, it kept some of the sharpness, but it's like areas that were completely in focus are now out of focus. So that's really strange. Look at that. It's completely blurred out. And then it's like little areas in here just get over sharpened. Huh. I don't know if the algorithm just messed up or something. That just, it seems a little off. So I wanted to make sure I wasn't like messing something up. So I re-exported it and yeah, it just really didn't do a good job holding on to this detail at all. I mean, Lightroom's is way better. I mean, look at the detail difference in here. What are you doing on the table? Do you want to be in the video? Oof, he wants to be in the video. Okay. Hi YouTube, what do you think? What's your opinion? Are you as shocked as I am? Absolutely shocked. Uh, similar to the other file, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the raw file again, and let's bring this as a TIFF into Topaz Denoise to see if that changes it. And I know that when I've pulled things into Photo AI or Denoise before, uh, Topaz wants me to use the raw file, but in the last case, it seems like the TIFF file did a better job. Standard's looking pretty good here. I'm just gonna leave it on the auto settings, let it do its thing. Just click apply. Okay, so this is very interesting. I think the Topaz TIFF, after the fact, it looks, I think, a lot more comparable to the Lightroom Denoise. I still think that the Lightroom Denoise did a better job if you look here, it looks a lot more smooth. It looks like there's some slightly compressed areas in here. but And also a little bit of over sharpening. Yeah, see, I'm still seeing more retained detail in the Lightroom version. Um, so I would say if you are going to use Topaz, that's probably the way to go is do your edits and then do a little bit of noise reduction afterwards. So I'm still going to be using Topaz for their great enhance function. I love using it for, you know, sizing up my prints, but I think they have a little bit of work to do to catch up to Lightroom's algorithm here. I'm going to go ahead and put these photos on my website and uh, allow you to download them just to take a look for yourself, see kind of what it looks like higher resolution on your own screen. But yeah, for the denoise function in Lightroom, I mean, this is pretty amazing stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty blown away right now. I knew it was good. 
I just didn't know it was this good uh, when comparing it to my other favorite tool. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these tools. Have you used Denoise for Lightroom and have you used Topaz Labs? Have you compared the two? What have you found for your own shots? Because I know these are just two landscape photos. I'd be curious to see how these affect portraits or um, how this works on wildlife photography. As always, I really appreciate you watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Are you ready for a walk? Let's go for a walk.